Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and it is a diamond painting, but this is one that I'm not bothered about the actual painting, but it's the fact that it's double-sided tape and I have been giving it a squidge. It didn't arrive like this, so I will say who can didn't uh, have it delivered like this. I've been giving it a squidge because I want to try again with my rolling my canvases back the other way and see uh, if I can sort of destroy them a little bit. So I've been waiting for some special offers to come on and unfortunately there's not been any extra special offers. So this one has cost me £4 and I got sick of waiting to be fair. So <laughs> let's get into it and have a look anyway, see what we've got. Um, we've got drills and a tool kit. And I'll keep that bag because I've got uh, a giveaway that will be going out shortly. So, oh, it's all come in little bags. It is a square. Lots of nice colours, actually. Oh, we've got a few. Look. We've got a lot that have escaped out of the bags. They're all roaming around in there. So, oh my goodness, we've got orange and different blues and things. So, I'll have to be careful with that one. Maybe it knew that I was going to trash the canvas. Um, so, the drills have decided to escape as well. Oh, it's quite a decent little tool kit. Let's have a look and get into this. So it's the, the GP tweezers. Um, they're okay. They are what they are. If you've not got any tweezers, they're great. But I do prefer the better quality ones. But they're okay to get you started. And we've got a single placer, pacer place a sparkly pen trying to put words together now rather than uh, enunciate Liz <laughs> and it's got a four placer is that yep yeah, that's a four placer I know because it says on it uh, there which is one of the newer ones we've got lots of wax so they must know that I'm very heavy-handed when I do canvases and then we have is that a ten where's my little doobery what's it I found it again it's making an appearance again it does need a revamping but I think that oh that's a 10 placer oh so we've got a four and a 10 placer and a little white boat and um, something just dropped out of there so I have no idea where it went did anybody see what it was <laughs> there was an extra bit in here somewhere and yeah my eyesight's not brilliant today so I've no idea where that went I've got a green gem on my desk I'll put that over there in case I need it for anything else. Unless it was a green gem, but I'll have to rewatch the video and see what it was that dropped out. No idea was the cry. Right, so let's put those back in there. And I'll have a look at those. No, we'll have a look at no, we'll have a look at this first. <sighs> I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not sure. <laughs> So let's get into this canvas. As I say, it came perfect. It wasn't all creased. It wasn't all like, oh, there is it. There it is. What's that then? Oh, it's the end of the tweezers look. Can you see it's just a little plastic round bit off the end of the tweezers. Let me put that on the tweezers then. I knew something dropped out. See, you didn't tell me, did you? <laughs> yeah, it's to keep the tweezers together. Oh, it's a bit loose. That's probably why it's come off. Anyway, so it's back on there now. It's all back in there. So it's quite good to look at. As I say, it is a hula can canvas, but the uh, way that this is arrived is there's no way hula can's fault. I have trashed the canvas because I'm going to do my rolling double-sided tip canvas back up again um, and have another play with it because I wasn't quite... Well, I was shocked at what actually happened to the canvases um that i used i'll put uh, a link down below to my original experiments because what i found was that if you rolled the canvas back up yeah it made it um quite a bit uh, bubbly and created rivers but if you rolled it the other way it seemed to straighten them out so i've trashed this canvas with the thought of rolling it back the other way and see if it does strain it out. I know it's a bit artificial because I've actually done the uh, trashing, shall we say, 
a, I have got another roll as well because I thought, well, that roller has got quite dented and it wouldn't be fair to put it back on that one. So I've got a roller that hasn't got any dents in it. Look, I'm actually keeping them now. If you remember when I first did this experiment, I only had one foam roller because I'd thrown them all out after the hundreds I've had. <laughs> it's that old adage, you don't want something until you throw it out and then five seconds later you need it. This is actually a very pretty canvas. So I didn't really look at the picture as such. I ordered it because it's double-sided tape. It's the horrid, comes in three parts, which I don't like whatsoever, because I think this creates rivers and bubbles as well. Then when I was going through my uh, stash of canvases, my double-sided tapes, if you remember, quite a lot of them actually came in one piece rather than uh, in three pieces. But yeah, I mean, that's not me, actually. That is a river. Don't think the camera will pick it up, but there is actually a, a river going all the way down there, a line going all the way down there where that canvas has been. But this is a very pretty blossom tree with clouds in the background, which actually is why we've got some pretty colours. Um, it's 30 by 40, it's 35 colours as usual dmc codes all your different little symbols and it does give you your key your quantity of your drills there as well and it is square it has got um the little boxes round like your little guide well they're not circles guide squares which hopefully will cover up there's not there's actually actually there's not much um white or light colors on this so it should be okay uh that drill field I suppose it's not bad. I was just thinking that the blue looked a little bit blurry. But actually, I think if you get a light pad underneath that, it's going to be OK. Those dark colours on the, uh, the dark letters on the dark colours should come out OK. So, yeah, oh, yeah, you can see that line there. Look, wow. Just a couple of inches from the top. You can see where that and that isn't me. That is how that has actually come. So now then. Let's get this put back down. We'll do what we would normally do and flatten it back down that way. And flatten it down there. So if a canvas came in this sort of state, then I would ask for my money back. But as I say, it's me that's purposely done this. So, you know, it's not the company's fault at all. Albeit that's uh, where the... Um, cover sheet has overlapped yes that is them it's not well i suppose it you want your canvas to come in good condition you want it to be okay but i'm finding that canvases aren't unsalvageable yeah you've got to work on them a little bit to get them um to be okay but they're not too bad and i've found as i say that last experiment i did I decided, right, I'm going to have to get another canvas um, so that I can have another go at this. So I'm going to roll it back the other way because we've always said, or, you know, creators have always said, don't roll it back up because you'll create rivers and bubbles and it will ruin your canvas. And I got to a point where I said, yeah, I kept saying that. And I wanted to know why will it ruin the canvas and what actually happens to it? So I did two canvases and I rolled one one way and then I think it was one of my subscribers, could have been Jeanette, not sure, sorry if I'm wrong, um, actually said, well, I'd try rolling it the other way as well. So I thought, good idea, yeah, roll it the other way. And rolling it back the other way seemed to sort of stretch the glue and the canvas and get it to marry back together. So I want to know whether that was a fluke and a one-off or whether it will actually work. So if we look on the back of this canvas now, we're very, very, yeah, we've got a lot of creases which cause your rivers and your bubbles. It's a very soft canvas, this, so this could make a difference because with it being soft, maybe it flattens out easier. I'm not sure. Very materially, very soft. But there's definitely those two distinct lines. You can see where the um, cover sheet on the other side. Wow, yeah, all right, real tram lines, aren't they? So I am going to now do what we always say don't do and roll it back up the other way now shall I roll it from this end or shall I roll it back from that end let's roll it from this end so let's roll it the wrong way and actually from the opposite end to how it came and we'll see what happens we'll leave it a week or so and then I'll do an update video on it 
Um, I don't like playing. I don't like having a go at doing these different things and just seeing what happens. Um, I do it with my canvases so you don't have to worry about yours. But if it does work and it's going to be a way because I have got a lot that I do want to either um, sell at silly prices or gift people of my double sided tape canvases. But because I've already opened them all out in the flat, how am I going to get them to people? Because it would be a huge envelope and by the time it got to the person, it would be squidged anyway. So I am going to really need to roll them back up to send them. So if this works, it might be a way to be able to send them to people without them getting trashed. So that is now rolled back up the wrong way and I've rolled it from the opposite end to how I unrolled it. So let's sellotape this back. Uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a proper sellotape, sorry, sticky tape. Sellotape is the brand name here in the UK. I know it has different connotations in different countries. <laughs> okay, and I'll just put a little bit on the side as well. I found that the washi tape didn't hold it and um, it started coming unstuck. I really need a bit longer piece. This is my pound shop bargain as well. Uh, I've had this a long time. Um, when I'm wrapping Christmas presents and things, I put all my different coloured um, sellotape, sticky tapes into it. And it's just so much easier having a little edge to pull and cut your tape than it is to have to mess about with scissors and have bits of sticky tape stuck all over. Anyway, my brain's wandering. One day it will just wander off completely and then what will I do? <laughs> So that is now all wound up the wrong way and we'll see what it looks like. So I'll give it about a week or so and we'll see whether it flattens it all out. And yeah, what I might do actually, because I've got a lot of diamond painting friends now, is actually send them the canvas that I've rolled back up and then they can unbox it and see what they think and see if it actually works. Hmm, there's an idea. Okay. If you're a YouTube creator and you'd like to receive a canvas rolled back up so you can open it on your channel and see what it looks like, let me know. Let's have a quick look at these drills. So they are squares. Um, and they have all escaped. So we are going to have a lot of drills. It looks as though the bags haven't quite sealed at the top. Let me grab a tray. Oh, I've got one sat there, haven't I? Where's that drill gone? And let's put all these back in here. Because we're going to have a few little critters all over, I do believe. Uh, there's quite a few stuck on the sticky at the top there, look. That's not good. Come on. Off you come. I've got several different colours. What happens is, I think as they're packing and they're doing a fast job, you know, because time is money and maybe they have to do so many to get paid, I don't know. Um, you know, time and motion does uh, still apply in some places, piecework or whatever. Um, so, yeah, maybe they have to do so many. And if you get into the end of the day and you're fed up, you maybe don't quite shut the bags properly. So let's have a look. Those browns are okay. So I'll just make sure these are also, that's 25 and 26 there. We've got, oh, there's a blue one there. That's 32, and that's number 4. They're very pretty colours, and that's number 24. And just try and, oh, I think it could be this blue one. Oh, yes, it's got a hole in it, I think. Let me have a look. There's a few escaped up there, but has it? No, it doesn't seem to be, but I'm going to put it in another bag anyway. I've got these lovely bags that's uh, Charlotte sent me yesterday with that gorgeous pen so I'm just going to pop those into there because it's definitely that one that's escaping but I'm not quite sure how it's escaping out or where it's coming from because it does seem to be quite maybe it's just got too full that bag so let's try and get you do usually get lots and lots of spares um so possibly this won't be quite as bad as it looks, but let's just uh, put these into here. There's a few clinging to this little peppermint cream green. That's number 30. 
we'll just try and gather up the bulk of them and then at least we're giving it a fighting chance plus i don't want them going all over the floor well <laughs> there's plenty all over the floor as it is um yeah i did manage to tip a tray of drills all over my craft room floor and uh, yeah i do need to hoover up but that's just one of those things it's a bit like the iron really i've not got a great um relationship with uh, the hoover either you know we don't really get on we don't we don't talk much <laughs> Okay, so we've got a number seven there. Lovely blue. We've got all these pinks. Wow. Oh, hot pinks, hot pinks, rose pinks. That's 35. That's number 29. And that one's number eight. So these are the low numbers. Number 18. Okay, just check them off as I go along. That's number seven, number eight. Oh, look at that. 24, 25, 26, 27. Well, that's number four. We've already seen that one, haven't we? Oh, another nice bright pink. That one's number 33 goes there. It's another blue one there. I'm just going to put these into the tray now because I think I've got... Oh, I might be able to get a few more. There's definitely a lot of scapes. I'm hoping that these are this colour. They do look like this colour. Oh no, that's got a different colour in it, so I'm going to put those in this tray. Yeah, keep them over there. Keep them out of the way. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got a brown, which is number 20. We've got, that looks like that, that's 310. Oh, they've got the um, DMC codes on the bag as well. So that's good. It looks like we've got the number of the drills on the bag. So that's even better. Okay, so it's just the symbols that aren't on the bag, everything else is on the bag that you would need to diamond paint so you can diamond paint straight from your little bags if that's what you like to do that's quite a full bag as well but that one's definitely sealed that's number five okay oops sorry i just keep catching my wire and my uh, camera is jigging about it's having a jig 12 that's number six so where have those yellows come from then can't see any yellow we've we got yellow in this well we've definitely got some uh, interlopers haven't we we've got yellows in here and there's no yellows in this canvas <laughs> i don't think i've had that before very strange okay so that one is number two 19 so we'll put that up there and uh, 23 okay 21 this is just how i sort of like quickly check my drills off as well while i'm doing this so i can make sure i've got them all don't want to be going back to uh, who i can in sort of like six months time and saying that canvas i bought ages ago i've got some drills missing just a quick way of doing it while I'm going through these and looking at the colours as well. That's really odd. Fancy having yellow when I haven't got. There's definitely no yellow here, is there? There's a white one there as well, and I don't think I've got white. Oh, that could be the green though. That might be green. Okay, so it's not as bad as I was expecting. It is just that blue one that was just a little bit over full and that it's decided it wanted to break out and have a room around and have a chat to everybody else. So that's 16, that's 14. Okay, another lovely pink, that's number 28. Which will go there, there's some banging doors going on downstairs. Uh, number 17, don't know what they're up to number 31 okay so let's just get these out of here and then we can put them all away again <laughs> oh dear all right let's say it's quite a pretty picture the, the blossom you know it will look quite nice framed on a wall but i just wasn't overly bothered about the picture but it had to be something that i vaguely liked all right so we've got one two three four 
five, that's a, quite a full bag. Six, just make sure these are closed. Seven, eight, nine, greys and browns, okay. Put those in here. Put them in order, you never know, I might keep them in order. I always, you watch, I'll just tip it all out and it'll go everywhere. Uh, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, that one's got one that's got stuck. We have got a brown one there. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 is the naughty one that decided to escape all over the bag. It was quite cramped in there though, it obviously a few of them just wanted a bit more space. Right, and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 and 29. That one's got uh, an extra blue in there as well. That one's managed to actually get in there. How strange. Uh, and then we have 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 and 35. So we've got all our colours and it's a beautiful colour palette. And then we've just got the strange, and there's quite a few as well, it's, and we've got an orange, oh, we've got an orange round as well. So that's uh, quite bizarre, the colours that we've got in this uh, little tray that had all decided to uh, escape into there. Oh. <laughs> okay, right, so let's just fold this one back up. Okay, so... There we are, just a quick little video to just turn this canvas inside out and we'll come back and we'll see what happens. It's starting to flatten out a little bit anyway. Uh, what I might do once I open it is roll it back the other way and see what happens again. I don't like being nasty to my canvases. It's very naughty of me, I know. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at this. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. Any comments or questions, pop them in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what happens to this canvas and see the other videos that I do, then if you press that subscribe button, you'll be notified any videos that I do. You'll get a little notification thing pop up on YouTube and it'll just say, oh, Liz has uploaded a new video. And I'd love you to come and join the family and be a subscriber. It really does help the channel. Okay, well, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.